Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of the Telltale Walking Dead series. We are picking up where we left off with episode three of the final season of this entire game. And we left off on an interesting note. We were on kind of a cliffhanger, but we kind of have a plan. We know where we're going. We know what we're supposed to do, but the details still need to be worked out. We don't know who's going to be there, how many people, where exactly this is. So we've got a, a very nebulous plan as to what we're going to get up to uh, this episode. But as we've already established in the previous episode, this season has some hefty boy episodes. So from the moment we hit play, up until the episode ends, a lot could happen. It's quite literally, I think I described it as a saga. So without further ado, let's get into it. Broken toys. That's a good indicator. Previously on The Walking Dead. While searching for a place to call home, AJ and I found an old boarding school run by kids deep, deep in Haven't we already seen this? In the forest. Their leader was a guy named Marlin. Do we have to watch this every time? And AJ pulled the trigger. I told AJ he was justified for killing him. Ah! The other kids didn't see it that way. They voted to kick us out. Never I mind. We'd never return. Then, AJ and I were attacked by Abel, one of the raiders Marlin had given the twins to. He was with someone I thought I'd never see again. Lily. Bruh. We were almost eaten by walkers when suddenly... One of them spoke to me. <sighs> His name was James, an ex-whisperer who didn't believe in killing walkers. He helped me treat AJ, but without real medicine, he wouldn't make it. The kids didn't turn away the sad sight of AJ and let us back inside. After I told them how we could defend the school against the raiders, they were willing to let us stay, at least until the fight. I love this. I decided to help Lewis tune his piano. He opened up to me. Lewis is a great friend. Those are rare. I like like then Lewis. The raiders <laughs> finally came. They busted open our gates, but the kids stayed hidden as planned. Mm -hmm. Until ten ran out of cover, hoping for a chance to learn about his missing sisters. The bomb went off, and attempting to save ten, Mitch threw himself at Lily and got a knife to the throat. Dang. With only a second to decide, I fired and saved Lewis. They got away with three of our friends, and we had no idea where they'd gone. Coffee. But we knew someone who did. Mm-hmm. I actually really enjoyed that recap. My, uh, my quick fingers kicked in, and I was like, man, skip, skip, skip. We've already seen this, but per episode, that's pretty neat. It's like storybook style. I like that. so little and, and Mitch looked after me people said he was a dick sometimes but he was always nice to me now he's gone stabbed in the eye by some asshole who never even knew his name he'd want you to go on we'll get revenge I promise Chaos. you, Lily, the people who did this, we're going to hit them back. They're gonna regret ever coming near us. If Mitch were here, 
He wouldn't cry. He'd find a way to get our friends back. No. Bash Lily's brains out with a rock. Abel's tied up in the basement. He passed out from the pain. Thanks. AJ wanted to stay down there and keep an eye on him. Hey, buddy. It's time for us to bury Mitch and say our goodbyes. That's so sad. I'll help you. Get carry. away from him! You're the reason he's dead! Oh. Willie! Well, it's true! We had a plan and that idiot messed it up! Come on, Willie. None of this is Ten's fault. You know who's really to blame. I can't believe you're defending him! This. This is bullshit! Ten! Let me handle this. Talk to Abel. See if you can't find out where Lily took Vi, Omar, and Asim. I wanted to hurt him, you know, to make him talk, but. I just couldn't. Oh, we should have kept Maybe Violet around. Get more out of him than I did. She would have gotten him to talk. <laughs> Nothing good ever happens in that basement. Yoink. <laughs> I wish they included looting in this game earlier. I'm just not accustomed to it. This should be strong enough to hold him. Oh, it's a sketch. I haven't seen those in a long time. Brody. I liked her. Hey, Rosie. Pet the dog. You have Rosie. She's my dog now. Best girl achievement unlocked. No way. What? That's epic. Got your gun back, huh? Uh huh. <laughs> Damn. Still want dibs? It's different like this. With well, them all broken. But I still hate him. At least he recognizes that. <sighs> Ready? Kicking a man when he's down and all that. drench him. No one wants to be woken up like that. It's not painful, but it definitely <laughs> freaks you out. <coughs> what the fuck? Well, that ain't no way to wake an old man up from his afternoon nap. I was having a nice dream, too. About a girl I used to know from before. She also had me tied up, but I wasn't her prisoner if you get my meaning. <laughs> oh? Abel's a freak. No offense, but I'd rather go back to my dream, so if you don't mind. Damn. <coughs> Damn it, squirt. Easy on the broken parts. Jesus. I don't like your voice. Well, I'm real sorry about that, but it's the only one I got. <clears throat> and don't call him a squirt. You're a squirt. You've never done this before, have you? First thing you learn, I can't tell you shit if I pass out from the pain. Don't make this harder than it needs to be, okay? I just want to know where Lily took my people. It doesn't matter. As soon as she gets there, she's going to turn around and come right back for me. You think so? <laughs> you better give me the five-star treatment. If I'm smiling when she gets here, 
You might be able to trade me for a little mercy. We underestimated you little shits, but Lily won't make the same mistake twice. You think- What is this dude, like a lesson in prisoner holding? Lily would come back for you? Look at the state you're in. You're worthless to her now. I can heal. There is no rescue party, Abel. Only a bunch of pissed off kids who want you dead. So tell us where our friends are. You trade it for mercy. <laughs> Lily will never give him up. Only reason we came here was for more manpower. Losing Jonathan and me for three sprouts that can barely hold a gun. Even a dummy like me can do the math on that one. Mm. We're gonna get him back. You don't know what it's like out there. It's a bloodbath. One community against another. From Richmond to the coast. Back at the Delta, we're at war. With some really sick fucks who make me look like the Virgin Mary. We need people to fight it. Soldiers who do what we say. Point the guns the way we tell them to. You little turds are supposed to be easy pickings. That's called kidnapping. Give it whatever name you want. I call it survival. What kind of place is this Delta if they use forced labor to defend it? You think we like doing raids like this? Our home is under threat. It's a good home. Built to last. I'd do a lot to protect it. Maybe you can understand that. And I do a lot to get my friends back. So stop wasting my what time. What is the saying? Don't negotiate. With terrorists or something? Okay. Front pocket. The answer to all your questions. Why do I believe not believe him? Read it. <sighs> Whatsoever parteth the hoof and is cloven footed, and cheweth the cud among the beasts that shall ye eat. What the fuck? Is this code? No, it's fucking Leviticus. Mm -hmm. I was hoping it'd be some timely, moralistic shit about turning the other cheek. Well, come on. That thing ain't gonna light itself. Wanna know where your friends are? The smoke will clear my mind. Is that what we're doing? Okay. Help me remember stuff. Like where Lily went. Come on, kid. Don't make me wait all day. If I'm nice to him, maybe he'll give me answers. I don't know. I don't interrogate people. Um, maybe like let him smoke. Now that is oh my God! What is happening? <laughs> oh shit! <sighs> That's a lot of blood. Oh, fuck. This is not good. Oofed. He's gonna die, isn't he? We have medicine. We can still patch him up. I don't think so. When you push me off that balcony, Something must have burst inside of me. <laughs> no medicine can fix this. <laughs> Shit. I never wanted things to end like this. Everything. It all got out of hand. Now look at me. I'm a fucking mess. Mm. Will he turn? No. <laughs> My, my whole life, everything I ever got, I got with my own two hands and my will for my body to dirt on me, to take control. I'll tell you where to find Lily. Just promise you won't let me turn. Damn. I'm begging you. Dude, I'm telling you. If you're honest with me, I'll put you out of your misery. Like, this is a really tough, tough thing. And 
you have to know i i feel like i don't i don't do this okay but i feel like in theory you would have to know like how people tick what makes people tick in order to get answers that you want and in this case this guy is already beaten broken busted bruised you know and he's just a at the end of the day he's just a normal dude that ended up in this apocalypse just like anyone else so if he's busted he wants to smoke a cigarette let him smoke a cigarette if he actually legitimately says his worst fear is like turning and that's that's just what he says because he's on his deathbed he doesn't really have a way out i'm gonna believe him i don't know you have my word okay we have a boat we're docked a few miles west of here at an old fishing pier your friends are on the boat <laughs> you, you got what you wanted. Please, don't let me become one of those things. Please, I don't want to turn. I feel bad, man. Not that. I want to let me keep my face. Huh? Oh. I want you to see this. You don't need to watch this. I think Lee would say the same thing. I want to. Oh! Forgot AJ's a little freak. Oh, this is terrible. Oh my god. Ha. Oh. At least you can't hurt anyone anymore. Yeah. Sometimes death is a mercy. Yeah. Come on. We I feel like we're not doing to too bad. Teaching him to defend his actions, teaching him that sometimes death can be a mercy. Like, I don't know. I think we're doing okay. Once we find the boat, we'll look for a way to sneak on board. Yeah, if Ten doesn't fuck it up this time. Ugh. We've all done Ten's things. Fault. Yes, it was. Mitch died because he... Say one more thing about Ten. I dare you. Guys, there it is. Oof. I mean, it's not Ten's fault that the raiders attacked. I mean, I guess it's his fault for having sisters that were taken? Just kidding. That was a joke. That was seriously a joke. Any of them could have been chosen for that whole shenanigan. <laughs> you see anything? The beach, um, a boat, and a, a wood street in the water. Like a pier? It's called a pier. Mm. Pier. Pier. Okay, let's spread out and focus on those areas. Keep your heads low. Yeah, let's do it. What's up, buddy? Have you ever seen this thing before? No way. Pretty sure I would have remembered an old-timey riverboat. <sighs> and from where I'm sitting, looks like that pier is the only way inside. Well, let's see what else is down there. I can see an entrance. Yeah. There's one at the other end of the boat, too. There's a small opening at the top of those closed doorways. AJ and I know how to deal with those. Mm-hmm. AJ sized. The pier has plenty of cover on it. If we're careful, we can sneak in undetected. I don't see any obvious place to keep prisoners. Don't boats have brigs? Boat jails. Maybe, but where? Now that, I, I, I don't know. To the brig! I... Sports, Fitzgerald? 
I have been on a cruise or two, but I've never been on a steamboat. There are a few on deck, a couple others on the pier. Could be more inside. I would love to go on one, like, to a cool place, though. I've been on, like, some American ones, but... Like a European I, cruise I or... Oh, Ooh, there she goes. This is really it. We found them. Like Alaska, Europe, South America. I don't know. Cruises are dope. Uh... Oh, a path. There's no good cover leading up to the boat. Water? We're gonna need one hell of a distraction. Oh. Water. Well, there you go. Those harpoons? Oh, that's a real gun, okay. They're like... Huh? Now we just need, what, a dozen walkers? How hard could that be? Maybe not as hard as you'd think. I know a guy. Intel. Walkers. We could use walkers as a diversion. Am I trying to find walkers now? Like... What's the schmoove? Oh, okay. What's up, buddy? Anything useful? Looks like building material. Furniture. Probably stuff from the train station. Sheet metal. Wood and quite a bit of it. Mm. We should have that stuff. Huh. Are those torches? Maybe. Why? We could use the fire. This boat is on fire. Raft. They're loading those rafts with supplies. I could cut those loose and just ride them down river. Easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Intel. Supply rafts. We could burn those or cut them loose. Where's our boy AJ? Can't go through here. There he is. Find anything over here? They have horses. Let me see. More torches. Horses. Something hay on fire would get yeah. their attention. Scare the horses too. Mm -hmm. I was about to say they horses hate fire. Easier that way. If we cut those horses free, we could slow down anyone trying to chase us. Horses. Intel horses. We could. We should get rid of their horses. We should get out of here before they spot us. We can talk through the plan once we're somewhere safe. This is shaping up to be a solid plan, kinda. All right. What's the plan? Well, they've got guards posted on the pier and the boat. There's no way we can take them all at once. Our only hope is to distract them while we sneak on board. We should burn their stuff. That'd work. We could burn the supplies or the hay they keep for the horses. Whatever we don't burn, we should take. Ruby would love to have the horses. But I'd rather steal those supplies. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we'll steal their supplies and burn the hay as our destruction. Why would you burn the supplies and if steal the hay? you steal from the rafts, you have to do it carefully. Who? Wouldn't do it any other way. Who in their right the mind would burn supplies? away from the boat, and we can sneak across the pier. If anyone sees us, they'll shoot. You remember that guy I told you about, James? He sent in walkers to save us from Lily and Abel. Maybe we could convince him to do it again. Do you know where he is? Big enough group of them onto the beach, we can blend in without being seen. Hmm. Well, hell yeah. Let's find out how much he charges for his services. <laughs> what about after we get everyone home? I mean, Sus. the raiders will just come attack us again. What then? Hide, quick. Shit, I was just watching it like a movie. I didn't have my hands on the keyboard. It's 
Still can't believe Willie's alive. That's wild. Why? A raider. Has to be. You all stay here. I'll see if they know anything that could help us. Drop it. How many of you are there? How many of who? I'm not fucking around. Answer the question. Eight. There's eight. Where do you keep captives? Stop. Oh. Hey, Minnie. Oh shit. After the attack, I wasn't sure. I mean, I heard they burned half your school down. Who survived? Ruby? Mitch? Brody? Ten? Ruby and Ten made it. Mitch didn't. And Brody, um, she died. Ten's boots holding up okay? Yeah. His boots are so old, they're more holes than rubber. I duct taped him up the last time I saw him, but that was a while ago. His boots are fine. You're Clementine. The girl who took over after Marlin died. Huh? It's weird. I thought everyone would want to lean on their own. I didn't ask to be put in charge. It just sort of happened. Is that the kind of wishy-washy bullshit you say to everyone back home or just me? Excuse me? Abel figured he could talk Marlin into handing everyone over like he and Lily did, but... Like they did before. You ruined the whole plan. What are you talking about? Marlin traded you and Sophie like it was nothing. Yeah, and we all survived it. Marlin would have never made them fight the way you did. He wouldn't have gotten people killed. That is some grade-A horse shit. Clem saved us. He wouldn't have gotten people killed. He murdered Brody. Dude, what? what? Minerva? Where's Sophie? Minerva? She... She died protecting the Delta. A hero. Is that what they tell you? A hero? God, you... Minerva! Shit. Once again, I was watching like a movie. I forgot I was playing a game. I'm like so Bobby involved. Him. Finish up and head back. I want to be in before dark. Jeez. Yes, ma'am. So she's not on our side at all. She likes it there. She's chilling. She's a hero, fighting for the cause. Our boat leaves for the Delta in two days. Then it'll be a couple of weeks before we can come back for the rest of you. When we do, don't fight. The only way you're gonna save your people is to let us take them. I'm serious. Don't fight this. If Ten could see you now, he'd be ashamed to call you his sister. That one stings. I wanted it to. Maybe she can ruminate on that and come back with a better answer for us. <sighs> Man. Are you okay? It doesn't change anything. We still have to get onto that boat. Mm-hmm. You all should head home. Start getting things ready. Get everyone caught up on the plan. Everyone except Ten. I warned you. Enough. Both of you. Huh. AJ and I will go find James. Be safe. I wonder if, how far the romance thing would go with Louis. Louis? Just out of genuine curiosity, like if I had pursued that. So... 
How many walkers do you think James will help us get? Would they be boyfriend, girlfriend? Fifteen? A hundred? A thousand? <sighs> Clem, I don't... Ow. Gunshot wound. It feels like someone pinched me from inside. Here, let's rest a second. It's kind of how cramps feel, buddy. Not to compare being shot by a gun with cramps. However, it's not great. If you know, you know. Clem, I keep thinking. When Willie said all that stuff about Tin before, I got so mad. Mm -hmm. He was being mean, and Tin wasn't even there to defend himself. I wanted to hurt him. I know I shouldn't, but I just can't stop thinking about it. Damn. I want to just punch his head. I tried breathing, kicking rocks. I don't like this feeling. Wanting to hurt somebody. I know it's hard, AJ, but thoughts like that, they go away. You just have to give it time. Uh, waiting's hard. I'm just thinking too much. Like, I think... I think I'm mad at Tin, too. Oh? Running out of cover when Lily attacked the school was really stupid. But he just doesn't know stuff like we do. Mm -hmm. And then Willie started yelling at him instead of helping him learn. Why don't the other kids know all the stuff we know? When there's a plan, you have to follow it. And when you yell at someone, it just makes them not listen. Well, why don't we teach them? They're smart. Someone just has to show them what to do. Yeah. I want Tim to know how to be safe. Aww. We can show them how to be smart, like us. Okay, I don't want him it's to get weird that people an are ego. So different. <laughs> it is Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. Troubled youth? Troubled like bad? So they did bad things? Why? <sighs> okay, um, sometimes they do them because <laughs> bad things happen to them. I knew a doctor once, back when you were just a baby. He called it trauma. You have some too, you know. The thing where people can't walk up behind you? I don't like my trauma. I want to get it off of me. Yeah. How do I get rid of it? I don't even like the way the word sounds. It's really, really hard to do by yourself. A lot of people can't without some help. Like from a doctor? Sure, but those are rare these days. Or, or like the school, right? It was supposed to help with people's trauma. In theory? Yeah, it was. And now they help each other. Aww. I still like them. I hope we're raising AJ to be a I good kid. I like Tim the most, I think. Even if he does dumb things. Aww. Actually, I think he's my first real friend. Oh, Aww. Yeah? I thought I was your first real friend. Well... Yeah, but you don't count. You're old. Am not. Damn. Fine. He's my second first real friend. <sighs> How are we supposed to find the wandering zombie whisperer? <laughs> How in the world? He's just hanging out over there? Dude, what? I don't see James. Just monsters. <clears throat> James? What the heck? I hurt. Did the raiders do this? It looked like they had people from your school. Why are you here? Please don't tell Those me you got bit. You saw? We're going to save them. But to do that, we need your help moving some walkers. I could maybe help, but my mask is still in the camp. Inside my bag. I can't pass through a herd without it. OK, 
Okay, then let's go get it. Uh, please, I just... I just ask that you don't kill them. The walkers. If you distract them, I can sneak over and find my mask. Oh, God. Distract all of them? Please. I'll... I'll try. Okay, I don't like him anymore. <laughs> Little does he know that we are... Using his distraction <laughs> of getting them over by the beach or whatever. Ah! Dead. Little does he know that we're using his distraction of getting all of them by the beach uh, to get them killed? Kind of? Maybe? I mean, we're gonna try to blend in with the pack, so hopefully not, but. Am I supposed to run around in circles? Bruh. What in the world? Ring around the rosy. I don't know how long I can keep this up. Did you find your mask? I can't find it. The horses must have... There! Oh, shit. We have to run. Hey, over here! Oh, God. AJ. No, there are too many of them. The cart. If we push it, the noise will draw them away. There we go. Oh! Shit. I tried to not kill any. I really did. Did you guys see that? I tried. I tried to satisfy his request. Oof. AJ, are you okay? Yeah, no bites. Noted your violence! You didn't even try to spare them. Oh my god, are you shitting me right now? Are you pooping my pants right now? Dude. <laughs> Your relationship? How much progress? Okay, fuck it. Whatever. Whatever. Bruh. I'm mad. I Thank am you mad. For helping me get this back. Now, how will Walker save your friends? They're being held captive on a boat not too far from here. We can't sneak on board without cover, not without the raiders gunning us down. You want to use walkers to hide? To sneak on board their ship? That's insane. It's our only chance. So is sparing walkers. No I offense. I have something I need you to see. So you can understand what you're asking. James. We still need his help, right? Yeah, we do. I'm mad. I'm mad. I tried that whole time. I played Ring Around the Rosie with the walkers to appease him. And I accidentally stab one in the head while it's about to pounce on me while I'm pushing a cart. Are you serial right now? Bruh. It's safe. <laughs> Just a little further. Is he about to kill me? What's up, buddy? 
Lim, what's this? It's called a salt lake. Salt lake? Ugh, sounds gross. Or maybe it's actually good, like chips. Those are salty, right? YOLO! Lick it if you want to. <laughs> oh, gross! It tastes nasty. <laughs> well, now you know. Ugh, learning sucks. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Did you lick it? Now I'm on the hunt. Any fun mementos? Can I take that salt lick back home to the dorm with us? This game is really pretty. I know it's been a lot of doom and gloom, but... Hmm. Must have had electricity here once. Hmm. Just thinking back to, like, season one. Uh-huh. Beat Nick. Disco Broccoli's chat talking friends. Ooh. My people. My former people. They had a practice. Oh, God. They called it collecting. Walkers? What are the odds Lee is in here? They use them as a weapon. I do this to protect them. I know it sounds strange. But that's why I brought you here. To see them as I do. As people. As people? Well, not people exactly. But... <sighs> something in between. Part of us is still in there. Deep down. So few of us die anymore. We turn. Not dead. Not alive. God, I hope that's not true. That sounds like hell. To you, maybe. I think it seems... peaceful. Do you really think there's people inside of monsters? Somewhere. Yes. They're not gonna come back! Think about it this way. Has someone you cared about turned? Clem's friend. Lee. Don't go name she dropping. Because he was too important to her. Do you really think there's nothing left of who he was? Frick, man. No, he's gone. Even if his body is still moving, there's nothing left. Just a walker. I'm sorry you feel that way. I lived among walkers for years. Still do, in a way. When they're alone. They're harmless. Innocent. If you want my help, I need you to try and walk with them. Then tell me if you really believe they're just monsters. Well, buddy boy, we've done that multiple they times. They are just monsters. They're not people or friends. Clem. She'll be safe, I promise. This isn't smart. It's too dangerous. You know Violet would do it for us. Yeah, she would. We've done it before. We've rubbed guts on us and walked through them. I mean, it's not new. Can we just tell him that? Ew. I don't want to wear the fleshy sack. The first rule is never go alone. I'm not leaving you. I'll be right back. Check the windows. I will. Aww. Don't let fear take over. Aww. I will. I promise. 
The mask will disguise your scent, but be gentle and be quiet. The entire scent? Touch the wind chime. You'll see. <sighs> oh, I hate this. I hate James. The frick? <laughs> what wind chimes? <sighs> this is so scary. kiddo it's all right i'm fine <gasps> see no bites no bites so do you still think they're just monsters now that you've seen them at peace any different at all i i think you might be right about there being something more t i just want to appease him i don't know if there's something there for sure like at all because they are just monsters following sound <clears throat> at peace. But, like, if I had my arm cut open, they would all try to eat me. So, like, I don't know if there's something there that's, like, human necessarily. But they can be peaceful, I guess. Like, I don't know. They're just really beautiful, so I shed a tear, okay? To them. It was kind of nice in there. Really? I never met someone who understood. See? Boom. It's... Thank you. I'm glad. I don't know. Have you ever killed a walker before? I have. Many. Have you ever killed a person? Many. But that was a long time ago. I've killed someone before, too. AJ. You've killed someone? But I was justified. I see. <sighs> That's enough. What about the walkers? Are you going to help us save our friends? I thought I could, but I can't. So many walkers would I die. I knew it. I knew it. That's what I was alluding All the death to. This would cause. I'm sorry, Clementine. But I can't have more blood on my hands. So let me get this straight. If you really had to choose human life or walker life, which is more important? Walkers are peaceful. H humans... My friends are alive. Not kind of or maybe alive. They're trapped and they're afraid. They need my help. I may be stubborn. But I'm not heartless. You're a little bit too heartful, if if I may. 
Those raiders are cruel. They force others to be the same. <laughs> this guy's voice. If your friends are anything like you, I don't doubt they're worth saving. Wow. That was nice. It'll take some time to guide them through the forest to the shore. Others will join the herd as they go. He's evolving into his final form. Tomorrow night, be ready. I can't undo this. He's sacrificing all his friends. Good thing the whole world is full of them. He can just go out in the forest and find more. It's not like that's Betty, Martha, Christopher, you know? said there might be people inside walkers. Did you mean it? Duh. Is he right? Well, we can't know for sure. I said what he wanted to hear. That's right. Death might not be like we thought before the world turned like this. Maybe something is left after we die. I also don't want him to learn to lie. It sounds weird. But if you believe it, I do too. <sighs> Come on, AJ. Let's get back before it's too dark. I don't want to teach him that. I said that. <laughs> Just to make someone else do our bidding. He'll learn that on his own. He's got plenty of time to get corrupted. I've never met anyone like James before. I don't unbelieve I mean, it. He's tough. Not believe not it. Not like you, though. He doesn't kill monsters, but he's not scared of them either. Yeah, he's something. He's cool. Hey, Clem. Willie told me the plan. How'd things go with that guy? James. He agreed to help us. If somebody told me we were gonna sneak onto a boat in a herd of walkers, I'd have called them crazy. They are. What are you doing with those? Oh, well, I wanted to throw one last hoot nanny before the big fight. Hello, swear? Fight? Huh? It sounds like a swear. No, it's just another word for I didn't party. know other people said hoot nanny. Right. I say I that all the time. It's strange throwing a party, but people need something to lift their spirits right about now. <sighs> this could be our last chance. Mm. I wouldn't make some tea for everyone. Could I borrow your little heater thing? Some tea for the hoot nanny? What can I do? We need to pretty up the old music room. Could you make us something colorful to hang up? Okay, I'll be an artist. <laughs> I'm gonna make the deck, uh, the decor, decoration, a decoration for the party. We got a couple okay. things. I'll get the heater. Got a toy, a banner. I think that's it. How do you play with it? You draw pictures like this. <laughs> cool. God, those things. You gotta move it up, and then you gotta move it down, and you gotta. It's a whole ordeal. We have another toy we got. And the banner. Hold up. Now, yeah, what's his name? Beat Nick. <laughs> That's funny. Do you even get what the joke is? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> How's the drawing coming? Can I see? Nope, it's not done yet, but it is pretty good. Uh... I had that... school poster thing. Maybe I'm out of space on the walls? Hmm. I'm done, Clem. Come see. Okay, oh. be right there.
Hey, you're getting better at this. Wow. So you'll be as good an artist as Ten. I don't know. He's really good. That's pretty nice. Something wrong? AJ? I was just thinking about stuff while I was drawing. He's so pensive. There are three kind of lies, Clem. Hmm. Oh, yeah? There are live people eyes. We got those. Then there's monsters' eyes. They usually look like dirty water. Other times, monsters' eyes aren't even wet. And then there are live people eyes right as you kill them. Like you did to Abel. His, his eyes look like you blew a candle out. He was a bad guy. I know I shouldn't feel like this. I hated him, too. I think there's something wrong with me. Never get soft. You know what, AJ? Everything you're feeling is okay. Never get soft, AJ. It makes you a good person. No regrets. Kill him dead. Am I good? I wish what we did felt good. Part of me wants to like it. I'm getting real smart. <laughs> <laughs> is that right? Is that what this is? Yes, because I'm always thinking all the time. Okay, what are you thinking about right now? You getting bit, turning into a monster. Oh. Yeah, the older I get, the more I see it. I don't know why. What happens then? Anyone can get bit. Doesn't matter if you're inside or outside or how careful you are. Hmm. Well, first, it would suck, like, big time. She's gonna lighten and the mood. Then, I'd have to nom nom eat you, little <laughs> boy. <laughs> Stop! <sighs> AJ, I need to know you remember what we talked about. What you're supposed to do if it happens. Listen to me. If I get bit, you'll... Shoot. No. No, I'm not going to do that. AJ, you promise. I don't care. I'm not going to shoot you. If you get bit, I'd want you to bite me too. Aww. What? You don't mean that. I want to be alone. Please don't be mad. I can't live with you not with me, Clem. I know we've talked about it so much. Don't make me. This poor Elder kid. Junior, you know you're not supposed to talk like this. You're too strong and too brave. I don't think I am anymore about this. Yes, you are. You are, okay? Existential <sighs> crisis. At the ripe age of, like, seven. You can't break promises, AJ. I know. You're not letting this go, are you? James said... <sighs> Guess not. That we could be around when we're monsters. Like on the inside. If you got bit and then bit me, then maybe we'd still be together. It would just be a different together. We might even be okay. You think so? James said a lot of things about the monsters. And most of it was crazy pants, AJ. So you don't think I would be inside my monster self? There is no monster self, kiddo. Nothing that makes you, you, would be in there. Can I go patrol for a bit? Before the party? Sure, go ahead. Be careful. I'm scared. Hey, little man. Hi, Louis. I'm going on patrol. I'm scared. So, patrolling's a thing? Mm-hmm. Patrolling's a thing. I don't want him to... He hurt himself. <sighs> I was wondering. Well, I can't help but thinking. <sighs> you shot that raider who grabbed me, but you saw them take Violet too. Which means you could have saved Violet and not me. Why? Why would you pick me? 
Another chance for romance? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't have picked me. Hell, I don't know anyone who would have picked me. Uh, this is why, this is why. But I'm gonna not say no, that to I him. didn't really have time to think. I just made a split-second decision. It's because she can handle herself. Oh, is that not what he wanted to hear? I know I'm always teasing her. Trying to get her to do that one eye roll she does. You know the one. Where it's like, you're such a dumbass, she has to do a full body eye roll. <laughs> I do it because... When I actually do manage to make her laugh, it's worth it. Mm. If I needed her, she'd be there. Meet Cleaver in hand, ready to chop someone in half if it meant protecting me. Mm -hmm. She can handle her own. Hey, we're going to get them back, Louis. Look, Clem, you're my friend. Hell, maybe my best friend these days. I'm gonna do whatever I have to to make sure you get back in one piece. <laughs> I'll step up. Whatever that means. Hey, Clem! Did I catch it? <laughs> wow. I was once again hands off, just like watching. It was in some garbage behind one of the dorms. I had to blow it up and, and that was pretty gross, but look, it works. Really? <laughs> I should start heading back to the admin building. See, this is what I'm talking about. We had another conversation. It feels a little bit more intimate and relationshipy. I didn't want to like just force that. I don't know. It's cool, right? Super cool. <laughs> Back. <laughs> You're terrible. Hey. Oh, this is like the Lee music. The sad Lee music. Why? I love you, Clem. I love you back, kiddo. <sighs> okay, we better get ready to go. Sounds like they need us in the music room. Okay. I don't like it. <gasps> wow, look at this. Looks like things are coming together. Party yeah. central. We still need to figure out lighting, music, and something to write on that banner. If we're gonna die, we should have some fun first. YOLO. Music. You gonna play the piano all night? Wouldn't be a party without some kind of mood light. Purple. I've been going back and forth. Y'all already colors know. For ages. Green's calming, but purple might be nice. Purple. Hmm. Well, purple was my dad's favorite color. Oh, she oh, remembers that? Purple was a color of royalty. Yeah. That describes Bitch. us exactly not at all. <laughs> I'll make it happen. Look, check this out. When you turn that crank there, it plays music. Are we using the banner for some kind of party theme? Mm, not exactly. It's meant to be more motivational. I'd keep it short, though. There's not as much room as you think. AJ, why don't you come Those up with something? Those sucked. Really? I have an idea. It'll be a surprise. We're getting them back. Keep your chin up. Promise not to swear all over it. Okay, we'll have Ten break out his paintbrush and ride it out. Easy. Those were lame. I mean, like YOLO. Pulled out the old headmaster's gramophone so he could play some records. Not much of a selection, but it should do. Country, jazz, Just tell me classical. What you listen to. Let's do country. Um, maybe something country. That's my favorite. I feel like we are all very surprised. <laughs> I feel like country spruces up the mood this a little bit more than classical or great jazz. Like let's listen to smooth jazz while we siege the boat. Hell no. Oh, and Willie was asking for you. He's up in Marlin's office. He said he had a surprise for the party, but he wanted to show it to you first. Oh? <sighs> for me, a surprise? 
Hey, Clem, check it out. I found a bunch of books on ships. There's some awesome stuff about fires at sea and explosions and stuff. The key is the boiler. Wait, what are you talking about? I have an idea about how to stop those assholes coming back to the school after we've rescued the others. Oh. And from hurting anyone else ever again. Yeah, sink the boat. We're gonna blow up the boat. It's the only way to make sure they don't come back. Besides, it feels right, you know? For Mitch. Nice. Mitch would love this plan. I know, it's perfect. I can't think of a better memorial than to blow that boat out of the water. Just make sure we're not on the it. The tricky bit is timing the explosion so that it happens after you get off the boat. Ooh. After, as your Trust first? Me, this'll work. We'll be okay. Okay, everybody. Get ready to boogie. As your and first then, explosion? Clem, I'm sorry for before. About how I treated Ten. I didn't mean to get so angry. I know it's not his fault. You should tell him that. That's nice, Willie, but don't tell me. Tell Ten. Max's only gonna kill everybody with this explosion motif. Oh yeah! Aww, our little baby. Looks great, Ruby. Couldn't have done it without you. Surprise, dummies. But just wait till you see what else I've got planned. Go ahead and mingle. I'll let you know when it's time. Okay. I guess I'll mingle. <laughs> with all these people I we see don't you know. Two are working together. Yeah, Willie asked me to help with his special project. Well, that's good to hear. <laughs> Is it ready? Good to go, Clem. It'll work. Actually, uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it something cool. I mean, we're not I doing it that. Deserves a name. Yeah, we already poopers. Have to name it. I thought you'd make fun of me, but hell yeah, I name everything. Let's name this fucker. Stuffed animals, my car, Ruby's revenge, Willie Jr., Mitch's masterpiece. Ooh, how about Mitch's masterpiece? Yeah, I like that. Mitch would have too. Okay, then it's settled. That dog is jacked. <laughs> I found them. Yearbooks or something? Records? Okay, Clementine. These here are our official Erickson psych evaluations and probationary reports. Oh! Okay. I don't get it. Well, these explain why all of us got sent to this school in the first place. We get to know their lore. And how we got stuck here for as long as we did. So, what's the game? We read I them. I figured if we're all going on this crazy mission together, we might as well know who we really are. So, I'll read some of what the adults thought about us. Oh, this is wild. And you have to guess which one of us fits the bill. Oh, this is wild. I'll make sure it's someone you've actually met. This'll be the first one. Oh, God. While otherwise a remarkable student, blank continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. Well, not to speak ill of the dead, but that sounds exactly like Marlon. Yeah, I... Guess it does, but no. Wasn't him. It was That's you? Ruby's file. <laughs> Holy shit, really? Dang. Guilty as charged. Yelling and Our physical violence? Here was kind of a nightmare when she first showed up. What? Ew. She once chased the home ec teacher around the yard with a barbecue fork this big. No way. <laughs> Don't worry. That was a long time ago. The apocalypse changes I mean, people, I, I guess. Can totally see it. The first time I met Ruby, she was all, that little motherfucker. <laughs> True. <laughs> I said I was sorry. True. You guys want to know why I got sent here? Dude, no. Chronic masturbation. <sighs> Willie, I speak for all of us when I say nobody has ever 
ever wanted to know that. <gasps> no! What does that mean? Oh, God. Uh-uh. Don't you dare. Bruh. <laughs> uh, anyway, maybe we should change up the music? I like all kinds of different music, I think. There's a lot of them. How Let's many? do classical. Sure. I don't want to put on jazz after hearing that comment from Willie. Stuff. I don't want any smooth jazz to set the mood. Get him excited. <clears throat> There we go. I didn't realize how many of us we lost. Remember that Justin guy? And Theresa and Jasper. That one girl with colored braces. And Joey, Maddie, Lamar. Damn. Erin. She had the braces. Alex, Dewey, Trey. Stephanie. Holy crap, how many of us died? 34. Damn. Whose is it? Violet's. Should we read it? I, uh, I... I could tell you guys my story instead. What got me sent here, I mean. Only if you want. It's... not great. Only if you want to share it with me. I was hoping you'd tell me. So... My family was stupid rich. Parents gave me everything I wanted when I wanted it. Except for one thing. Singing lessons. God, I begged my dad, told him I wanted to be a real musician. But all he said was, you get to be happy or you get to be rich. Can't be both. I know now that he was just trying to teach me a dumb dad lesson, but I hated him for that. So I decided I'd teach him a lesson. I thought, I'll break up my parents' marriage. That hurt real bad, right? What? So, I broke into my dad's credit card account and made all these purchases in his name. Did this for over a year. This is how rich we were. He never noticed he was spending a fortune on a mistress that I'd made up for him. What? But I made sure my mom did. Sent her all the receipts for the hotel rooms, the jewelry, all of it. What? They had a fight all night long. He denied it. She wouldn't have it. I sat in the corner and cried to help it feel more real. When their divorce was final, I told them the truth. Huh. I said, you get to be happy or you get to be rich. You don't get to be both. You know, those two would have been happily married forever, but then I had to go be a vindictive fuckhead. Dude! I came here the week after. Ah. I can see by your face you regret it. They said we were bad people, Clem. They weren't wrong. Still, None of us deserve to be ditched out here in the middle of the forest by the people that were supposed to make us better. Sorry, this was supposed to be fun. I guess I'm not really a game Aww. person. Jesus, beat dude. Yourself up. You said it yourself. Clem needs to know who she's leading into battle. Nah, it's been so long since all of that. Hey, I've got an idea. They've had so much time to I think. I remember when Minnie would sing us Don't Be Afraid when all of us used to get scared. Of course I remember. I helped compose it with her. Could you maybe play it for us? If I was here, she could sing the words, but. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to, Ten. At least he gets to do music now, kinda, temporarily. Not great. Dude, that's insane. 
forged all of it for a year? This kid is a genius. Evil genius, but... Damn. This is for you, Minnie. Minerva or something? They all just wanted better lives. Whether it was the parents or whoever put them there, they just wanted better lives. And then they got abandoned and all of this happened. Oh no. Hey, sweet pea. Lee? <laughs> Why the train? You always pick the train. I'm not sure. Maybe because this is where it all started. Where you taught me to shoot and to cut my hair. To be ready for what was coming. Uh, you were a quick stunny. <gasps> so, what's on your mind this time? I'm worried, Lee. I've got a lot of people depending on me. And I don't know if what I'm doing is right. Oh, I know that feeling. You know, I was uh, making it all up as I went along, right? Couldn't let on, of course. You kinda had to think on your feet. Monsters took over the world. And you got stuck taking care of an eight-year-old girl. You were a handful. But I didn't get stuck with anything. You kept me going. You want to tell me about what you're up against? I'm with a new group now. And I've been in so many. And they always fall apart. But I really like this one. It's different. It almost feels like home. That's a good thing. It's hard being alone out there. But we're in trouble. Some bad people captured my friends. And getting them back might get the rest of us killed. I'm not worried. 
What? Whatever trouble you're in, you get out of it. You get your friends out of it. You don't know that. I know you're a survivor. <laughs> the Clementine I know is gonna fix it. I really believe that. Never give in, Clementine. Imagine how Violet will feel when she finds out you came to rescue her. You'll have given her hope again. <sighs> oh, sweet pea, you know you always get like this before something big. Remember how scared Jesus. you were before you charged into that mess at McCarroll Ranch? You survived that, didn't you? That was different. I was alone. I know. <laughs> It's harder when you have something to lose. But having people you care about, that's a good thing. Man. They're fighting beside you. Because of you. Come see me again. When you've gotten them out, okay? Out. And safe. Sound good? And hopefully we can talk about happier things. Out and safe. My friends are fighters. We can do this. <sighs> to think when I cut your hair, I was just following the advice of an old drunk we just met. <sighs> but you, you have a knack for surviving. Now, you yeah. Kept those kids alive. They look up to you. You're a leader, Clem. A natural. Thank you, Lee. Talking to you always makes me feel a little bit better. I meant to ask. How's the boy? He's good, Lee. You'd like him. I bet. You teach him to shoot yet? <laughs> you have no idea. Aww. I guess the world got pretty hard since I left it. Kid growing up in it, he'd be hard too. You're in my shoes now, raising a kid. Think you got a handle on it? Uh, it can't be easy. Wanting to give him a childhood, but knowing what it takes to survive now. <laughs> oh my god, Lee. AJ's trouble sometimes. He wouldn't believe it. This is crazy that she's like he raising a no kid idea. now. He's growing up too fast. <laughs> Sounds like someone else I know. <laughs> wow. Just look at you. <laughs> Just look at you. <laughs> Thought I told you to keep this short. Um, you don't know how hard it is to find scissors these days. <laughs> Time to go, Clementine. You've got people that need you. Goodbye, Lee. Jeez. Clem, wake up. It's time to go. We got a long walk. <laughs> I'm still crying. Oh my god, is James gonna die? Uh, I guess we're really doing this. 
Only the team blending in with the walkers need to cover themselves. Now we just need your walker friend to... He's here. Good lord. Uh, hello. His voice is so creepy. He's just always whispering. Guys, this is James. He's my friend. He's, uh, so cool. Oh, of course, this guy. You get the skin like that. Uh, oh, I, um, Clementine? Can I try it on? That's not a good... Willie, stay focused. Now isn't the time for this. This freaking kid. I can ask questions later. Yeah, right. Sorry. I'm focused. <laughs> oh, and sorry I tried to shoot you that one time. Your mask looks so real. Functional and fashionable. I'll take two. <laughs> Funny. Is this the guy that Clem said she'd flip? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh, Clementine, could I speak to you alone for a moment? Not anymore. I take Good that idea. back, bro. Hold tight. Hey, uh, Ten, come here, buddy. I gotta tell you something. The walkers. They'll be here in a little while. Oh, God. You can join them as they pass through the trees. The noise from the boat will draw them toward the water. Then we can get on board and save our friends. <sighs> you, our friends are... different. Open-minded. Accepting. Like you. Yeah. Keep good peeps That's around. Not usually how my first impressions go. <laughs> Sorry, I feel like I'm rambling. It's just being welcomed. It's strange. You know, they could be your friends too. Mm -hmm. I know you didn't want to come into the school before, but now that you've met them... I haven't lived with people in a long time. But it does sound nice. Let me think about it. Hey. I wanted to show you something. This is... was my boyfriend, Charlie. Mm. We joined the Whisperers together. But it changed him. In a way that couldn't be undone. It changed both of us. What do you mean? The Whisperers were my family. From a young age. In that time, I witnessed a lot of death and suffering. Eventually, I became the cause of it. Wait, what? Weakness was considered a poison. And I believed in that fiercely. Weakness? So much so that when another boy expressed sympathy for our enemy before an attack, I slit his throat. I didn't talk to him, didn't consider who he was, what he felt. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even remember his name. What? All I knew was someone like him would only slow us down. That's... that's kind of hard to believe. Doesn't sound anything like you. Not anymore, but it was. I had no doubt in my mind that I was right. After he died, I kept hearing his words in my head. Those people are like us, just on a different path. I stopped killing after that. I changed. No one else did. When AJ told me he killed someone, it reminded me of them. Of myself. So they're still when out he there. said it was the right thing to do. Taking life like that from a young age, it breaks something inside you. It broke something in Charlie. Mm. I just... I'm afraid if AJ kills again, he won't be able to go back. He won't be the same boy he was. I've seen it happen too many times. I'm not going to let AJ become a killer. I don't want him to change. Not like that. I hope you can keep that promise. They're close. Soon there will be enough of them to provide us cover. I'll lead you through the herd until you reach the boat. That's as far as I go. After that, it's up to you. Thank you. Take care of AJ.
Okay, he's ready to go. The walkers are getting close. Ruby, you're in charge of the horses. Willie, Dan, take care of the supplies. And I'm in charge of the bomb. Oh god, the bomb. I totally forgot about the bomb. Find the boiler. It's been... There'll be a door on the bottom with ash and stuff. God. Right in there. Has this guy even done explosives? I know he learned under his, uh... Obi-Wan, but... It's been such an emotional, like, 20 minutes, I forgot where I was for a second. All on the other side. <laughs> oh god, we're actually doing this. There's a bomb. I'll cut it open. There's walkers. There's horses. Bruh. Lewis told me about Minnie. Mm. That Sophie died, and Minnie is one of them now. Mm hmm Just... If you see her out there, tell her... Tell her I forgive her. Please. I tell her myself. She's gone. I just want her to be okay. Aw. Yeah, sure. If we see her, I'll let her know. Yeah. Thanks. She did what she had to do to survive. She got kidnapped and poached off to the peeps. So she... She, like, became one of them. It's kind of what happens. What are you supposed to do? Resist and die as a kid? You join and survive however you can. It's really happening, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Oh. People's lives are depending on us. Depending on me. You're depending on me to... What if something happens to you, Clem? What if... What if I can't? I don't know. I can't carry that the rest of my life. I wouldn't have asked you to come with me if I didn't believe in you. Seriously, Louis, I mean it. Mm -hmm. Just believe me until you believe yourself. This is the growth right? I was talking about, why I wanted him to come along. All right. He needs Though this more I than don't Violet. Know if that's as easy as you think it is. Okay, I'll try. <sighs> what if I just get us caught too? All it would take is one little screw up, and I screw up all the time. Uh, all right, come on, Lewis, get it together. <laughs> I need you to slap me. Help pull me out of this. Right here. Lewis, you'll be okay. Aww. It's ready. Oh, oh, we're not doing what I think we are. That depends. What do you think we're doing? Ha! Oh God, we are. Not this again. We've done this with the walkers. So many times already. Ugh. I thought I'd done my time in Walker Prison. Then my time in Slime Town. There. <laughs> I think I'm ready. Uh, no, you're not. The face? Oh. There. You know, Walker blood is one of the hardest stains to get out. You owe me some new clothes. <laughs> we gonna do it? There you go. We're doing it. Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. Here we go. Oh God. Oh no, the walker's feelings. The walkers. Use them as shields. Is that heartless? I'm sorry. For any walker stands. So 
focused. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. I was so focused. Stay behind the walkers. Use them as shields. Dang, double kill. Shit. One more. Come here. Hit me. Dude! It wouldn't let me grab her. Again. It wouldn't let me grab her again. Okay. Not a viable strat. Got it. Stay behind I think the I'm walkers. just doing it wrong. Use them as shields. Right, we're gonna go right side. Go again. Death. I can't. I don't know why I can't grab that one. Okay, patience. Patience is key, young grasshopper. I will stay back. Stay like I said, I was gonna do that last time, but I didn't. Take my time. Hang out. There we go. There we go, on the right. Punched him in behind the knee, thrown him overboard. We can't risk leaving cover. We'll have to crawl along the side of the dock. Oh lord. Stealth? Oh god. Ew, imagine these guts in the water. What? That's scary. The guts are coming off. Yeah. You see nothing. Follow me this way. What? Underwater walkers. What in the world? I guess I like should have assumed that, but what the heck? They don't have to s <laughs> breathe. So, dude. Come on. Come on. <gasps> Underwater okay. walkers, what the heck? I'm fine. Dude, this is some final boss shit. Stay close. Stay hidden. There we go. <laughs> Took me a second, but come on, let's hurry. Oh yeah, yeah, the gap. Ready, AJ? Let's go. Let's go. Walkers incoming. I 
that'll do. What is the sound? It sounds like they're like at my toes. Achievement unlocked personal space. Yeah, no kidding. Let's go. Getting close. After we find the boiler and place the bomb, we'll get our friends out. Mm -hmm. Minnie said there were eight raiders, but we didn't see that many outside. Look out for guards and stay quiet, okay? Good. I'll scout ahead and signal when it's clear. Got it? The boiler. Hmm. Is it the one that dude went through? Behind me? A dude literally just ran in here. Ooh. Hey! Who's there? Nobody? Do. <laughs> Shit. Hey, check this out. I think it's the boiler. Maybe. Yeah, it looks like it. That's where we need to plant the bomb. There's too much stuff in the way. Hmm. Maybe there's another way in. There we go. Just keep moving. Is that a searchlight? Go, 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 go. That's wrong. Wait here. Who's this guy? Come on. I'm trying this whole non violence thing. Maybe not killing? Okay, that didn't go well. Maybe just knock him out? I really changed my ways after I met this James fellow, you know? Boom. There you go, Mitch's masterpiece. Now how in the heck is this gonna happen? I'll love and support you. <laughs> Once they start up this boat, we won't have much time before it explodes. Oh, uh, okay, that's the How trigger. Long? Not sure. An hour, 30 minutes. I guess we'd better move. Right, meow. Better. Upstairs? To the main deck, I guess? No, they're on the middle deck. I saw them walking this way, yep. Focus. Yes, ma'am. Ooh, she's not having it after I, what I told her. I have a little brother, short, scarred face. See, he's not out there, is he? Look, we've discussed this. Your family is Delta now. There ain't no room for anyone else. Is that how it works? Yes, ma'am. Mm -mm. There's no way we can get in there without her seeing us. Then let her see us. Get out. Not without our people. I swear to God, if you got Ten caught up in this, just, just tell me that he's safe. Give me that. He told me to tell you. He forgives you. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Shit. I'll help you get everyone out. I knew it! 
Then you take my brother and run. Push her buttons. Get him back to where it's safe. Yeah, we can do that. Come on, we have to hurry. Clementine? Holy fuck! Oh my god. We made Are it. Are you okay? He doesn't look hurt. I. Uh, yeah, I'm alright. We're alright. Where's Violet? Get Violet first. She needs to know you're here. I'll unlock the other cell. Let's go. Come on. We don't have a lot of time before Doreen comes back. Come on. Louis, give me a hand. Yeah, sure. Please tell me she's okay. Violet. Violet. <laughs> what the oh, fuck? Maybe? Clem! Get in the cell. Are now. you fucking serious? I will kill you. Don't catch me. You don't know. What? What the shit? I was not expecting that. I guess it was a little too easy. And the bomb? Vi, what happened? Are you okay? Is she mad at me for not saving her? Violet, talk to me. We're here to take you home. I looked for you. When they grabbed me, I saw you let them take me. I'm just supposed to forget that because you're here now? Some fucking friend you are. Lewis wouldn't have stood a chance against these guys. I knew you could fight back. <laughs> yeah, sure. What's That's what I said. You, Vi? Come on, let's get the hell out of here. No, Clem. I'm done. This whole situation is so fucked. At least here I have Minnie. You mean the Minnie that betrayed us? Don't act like you know her. She tried to escape. Her and Sophie. They said if I fight back, they'd kill Minnie. Or one of you. All you've done is get us hurt or killed. If you fuck this up worse... The boat could explode. I'll stop you myself. Any minute now. And don't think I won't. I'm not losing her again, or anyone else. We can't give up now. If they take us back to their community, we'll all die. So what? Your plan is to speed up the process? Whatever you do, leave me out of it. Damn. We came back. It's about the only thing I can say. We're not staying here that long. Looking for any out. Yeah. Unlikely there. Da 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 da. <laughs> I was trying to do the one above it. Yeah. Ah. Dude, we came Clem, back though. Are you all right? I'm fine. Where's AJ? Over here. <sighs> Thank God. Is Vi all right? Yeah. She's saying she won't help us. What the shit? Are you serious? Ugh. We're not moving yet, so at least we've got some time. I guess. Until um, we get blown up. Lewis, are you all right? <laughs> Me? Yeah, I'm fine. Just trying to figure out the best way to survive an explosion. Fair enough. You doing okay in there, AJ? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm looking for a way out. Yeah, me too. The doors don't look very well made. Maybe that's something we can work with. The sheet metal? Hmm. I might be able to chip away at this if I had a tool or... Damn it. They must have taken away my knife. Mm. AJ! Do you still have your knife? Yeah, they didn't find it. Only the big one. Good. I need you to slide it over to me. Oofed. Okay. A shiv. Is 
She's just hurt. She'll be fine. She has to come with us. She has to. She's part of our team. She's just been alone and scared. Hey, boy! Whatever you doing, don't. I promise you. It ain't worth it. Step back. She awake? Yes, ma'am. Oh, is Good. it freaking what's her nuts? I'll take it from here. Ah, this freaking thing. Shit. Where's Abel? He's dead. We killed him. We put a knife in his head. <laughs> Fuck, you little monster. Damn it! We showed him mercy. He was terrified of turning, so we stopped him from having to. We gave him what he wanted. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Oh my god, I'm gonna get pissed off. Back up. Step on it. Hide it. Minerva, open the door. Yes, ma'am. Normally, the trouble you caused, I'd shoot you and toss you overboard. But? But I'm genuinely impressed. Wow. First, you organized these idiot kids into a fighting force and kill two of my most experienced soldiers. Mm -hmm. Then you sneak onto my boat under the cover of a herd. Mm -hmm. I bring a prize like you back to the Delta. It might make this whole clusterfuck of a mission worth it. Mm -hmm. Someone like you, so young with so much potential. You should have never attacked us, Lily. Your mission was a bad idea from God, the start. Lily. And you failed. And you're still mouthing off, despite being in a cell. That'll change. You know, my father, Larry, was a military man. And when I was a kid, he had all kinds of rules. The thing that bugged him most was waste. If I ever left a light on after leaving a room, <laughs> he'd flip. No matter how many times he ranted about the cost of electricity, I could never remember to hit that switch. So? So one day... He let our power get cut. He liked illustrations to show that actions have consequences. No more TV, no more hair dryer, no more ice cream sandwiches. Just a miserable family sitting in the dark. I always hated your dad. Right from the start, when he tried to throw Duck out of that drugstore we were hiding in. He never gave a damn about what people thought of him. That's what I admired most. Had his faults. But he showed me the effectiveness of teaching by example. Uh -huh. oh, is that what this is? A lesson? I want to tell you a story. Let's call it the parable of the twins. Minnie and Sophie? Two girls were taken from their home and brought to a new place to live. They had to leave their friends and family behind, and that was hard at first. They shed a lot of tears. But the new place was a good place. The people there grew corn and raised pigs, and the twins ate well for the first time in years. They had hot showers, clean clothes, beds. They were given guns and trained to use them. The people there were kind to these girls. All that was asked in return was that they help defend the group. You see, this place had a lot of enemies, killers and thieves who wanted what they had. They needed help fighting, or they'd lose everything they built. Their crops, their power, even their lives. I wonder if that's how the twins would tell Is it. Is that how they sell it? Yeah. One of them would. Mm-hmm. One of the girls saw that this was a place worth fighting for, 
and her tears dried. Mm hmm But the other twin, she could never forget her old home. She rejected every gift, every opportunity, stirred up trouble every chance she got. She convinced her sister to help her steal a raft and leave on the river. Of course, they didn't get far. What happened then, Minerva? I killed her. Shit, How Minnie! You... What the fuck? Is that true? Your own sister? Why would you do that? She was twisting my head with her lies. And? I made a mistake. I needed to show my loyalty to the place I call home. Like it or not, you're one of my people now, Clem. What? The question is, which twin are you going to be? The loyal one? Or the dead one? What? You, you brainwashed her! You people are fucking sick! Y'all better back away from the door. All right, Lily, you made your point. I'll do what you want. No, don't say that, Clem. Look what they did to me. I'm just lying. Just don't hurt anyone else. Good. I'm surprised to hear you bend so easily. That's because it's a this lie. this isn't a negotiation. Pull the mouthy one out of the cell. Oh, no. I'm not going to kill him. He clearly didn't get the moral of the story. We'll have to help them understand. No. Stop! Don't hurt Lewis, or I'll hurt you. Hey, yo, you better cool it, or you're gonna get yourself hurt. Fuck, 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 fuck! Easy! Stay still! No, 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 no. please! Come! Don't make this hurt more than it has to. Come on. Just breathe. Oh god. Son of a bitch. Stop! That's enough. He bit me. I said that's enough. Nice. You deserve to die. We'll kill you. You think you can kill me? I know I can. We'll throw you in the river, and we'll put a knife right to the side of your head. Big talk for a little guy. <sighs> I know I can do it. I killed Marlin, and I was justified. Dang. So you killed Marlin. I bet you'd make a great soldier. AJ, listen to me. Don't talk to her, okay? She's a monster. Clem seems to care a lot about you. Oh my god. Don't touch him. Come on. Let's go have a chat. Just us. No. Don't fucking touch him! Clem! No, no, please! Dude! AJ! Keep an eye on her, Minerva. Lily, don't! Get this thing moving. I want to be far away from here. Fast. I'll start up the boiler. <sighs> don't. Don't you dare look at me like that. This is the only way we survive. Are you serious right now? After everything that she's done, you're just gonna help her? Fuck you! Minerva! Fuck off! What the hell happened to you? Come on. Killed Come on. What the fuck? You just decided, hey, I want these the people. They seem friendly doing? enough. You're gonna Don't get us like all you killed. understand what happened. <laughs> fuck you! <coughs> what the hell are you doing? <coughs> Stop! <laughs> Dumb bitch, let's go! Come on. Come behind you. You're the fucking problem here. Dude, I, I pressed won't up. Let you get them all killed. No. Come on, Clem. Come on. You're Lee's girl. Come Stop. on. Minerva. 
Kill her. Fucking kill her. What the hell is going on down here? No, no, no. Come on. Kill Minerva too. That's not what I. Dorian! No! Fucking kill her. Come on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on, I'm now's sorry. not the time. Let's go. I'm sorry. Go, go, go. Oh, you're gonna be nice to her now? Like, Minerva, no! Fine. We have to go. No! Stay then. We planted a bomb on the boat. Fuck you, there's a bomb. Mitch is dead. You just, just fucking go. All right. We have to get the hell out of here now. Go. I need to find AJ. I, I can. Uh, I'll be fine. Better see you on land. You will. I learned my lesson with Sarah. Nope. Nope. We don't have time. Nope. Oh my God. <laughs> Wicked Witch of the West. There she goes. Come on. Shit. They started the boiler. Oh, God. We'll focus that energy. Sharpen it. I've known Clementine since before this all started. She'll come around. Uh-huh. Sure. Come on. You'll come around, too, once you see- God, Clem is such a badass. I'm one Plenty more sneaking food, comfortable the for you and Clem. You can even- Tin! Fuck. Tennessee, did you get lost? Ma'am! He wasn't alone. I got something else to show you. Oh no. This way. Found this in the herd. James? No wonder there were so many walkers. Does she know him? Must have thought you were clever leaving those walkers here. Or was that Clementine's idea? Nothing to say? You don't fucking scare me. Is that so? No, oh, he's gonna Force die. Your ways onto others. Because you're afraid. Because you're weak. I give my people a cause to fight for. The thing about people like him, AJ, is that they're too broken to fit into a community. They won't fight for anyone but themselves. <laughs> Kill it. No! What the fuck? Easy there, Ten. Don't hurt him. Just stop hurting people. Please. Shoot her! Why don't we all just take a breath? Oh all my right. god. Give me my friends back. Put down the gun. Let them go. Ten, all no. Or, or else. No. Fine. Go ahead then. Do it. Not ten. Save your friends. That's what you came here to do, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I see. You came here to cry. Ten. <laughs> Looks like you're not a soldier either. Please don't. No. Bitch, go! No, I couldn't reach it in time. What the? Stop! I hit E! Dude, this is scuffed. I hit up! I'm hitting it! Dude. I think I keep tabbing out on accident. Like when I swipe my mouse. Oh my god. This is literally the worst. You made a big fucking Fucking wait! 
There we go. There we go. God, it kept tapping out. That's ridiculous. No. AJ, wait. I give up. I don't want to make him do I it. Give up. Put down the gun. No. I'll let everyone leave. My crew and I will leave. We won't bother you anymore. Oh. AJ. She's not a threat. Lower the gun. You weren't down there. You didn't see what she did. She tried to cut us all up. You don't have to do this, please! He's it's gonna a kill trick. her. Don't you fucking dare, AJ! Just give me the gun. You can't let her hurt anyone else. Lower the gun, AJ. Okay. She's gonna kill James. She's literally gonna come up behind him and cut him. What? Yep. James! I fucking knew it. She is a monster, dude. I knew it. Oh, he should have no! killed her. He should have killed her. I, I knew it in my gut, but I was like, no, I don't want to make him a monster. Bro. No. Shit, the bomb. AJ! Dude, what? I knew it. He should have just killed her. What? Dude. What the fuck? I knew it. I knew it. My gut was like, we taught him better. And I just listened to James one last time because he was like, don't do it. If he kills one more person, he's going to be a monster. He's going to be terrible. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to listen to James because he's peaceful and I don't want to mess AJ up. But I should have just listened to my gut, man. We taught him to be strong. And she's way more of a monster than that other dude was. I already forgot his name from episode one. Morbius. I don't know. She's way more of a monster than he ever was. And AJ should have just pulled the trigger. Oh, shit, man. I hate this game. I'm going to go ruminate on that. <laughs> Holy Jesus. What an episode. I am really excited to play the next one and see how this entire freaking game closes out. I am at a loss of words right now. I There's no cut between me playing and me starting and me finishing. Like This is the unadulterated, unfiltered like reaction right now, and my mind is just... Going a million miles a minute. I'm glad she's dead. I'm glad we made it out, question mark. But God, was that a whirlwind of emotions. Do walkers have feelings? I don't know. Tell me. Let me let, tell me in the next episode. Do walk? I'm just going to go. I'm just going to. I'm just going to leave. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. The final episode of the Walking Dead Telltale series ever. 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 See you in the next episode.